Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here at O Comic Con Council Bluffs Mid America Center, and this weekend, all sorts of great people you can come out and get characters from, comic books from, and meet that you've seen on the small screen and the big screen, like this guy that I'm joined with right now, Daniel Logan. You know him as Boba Fett in Star Wars Episode Two. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, my brother. Doing really good. I'm excited to be here. I have uh, never been out here to. I guess we're in. Uh... Oh, we're in, technically it's Council Bluffs, but it's uh, Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, Iowa. Iowa slash Nebraska. Oh my. We're basically the same thing. You know what? I love that, dude. I'm from New Zealand, so I live on a small island. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean. You don't re really have much further to go besides no. the ocean, and then there's nowhere else than that. Yeah. But no, I'm excited to be here, man. Oh, Comic Con. I mean, it's a wonderful thing when a convention like this can bring celebrities to your city um, and allow you to have interactions, which you only really get to see, like you said, on a small or large mm -hmm. screen. Um, but it's it's phenomenal, man. I'm out here. I'm sitting next to one of my favorite wrestlers. You know what I mean? So you, you can't go wrong when you come to a convention. You get to see a little bit of everything. So tell me about that. You found out you were sitting next to Scott Norton. You say he's one of your favorite wrestlers. Yeah, what yeah, was yeah. that like meeting him? Well, I haven't yet been able to because I've been in the okay. back and I, I've got ADHD even though I'm a 31-year-old <laughs> man. I, I have a really bad case of ADHD. So I haven't been out of focus, but um, he was dealing with a chair. So I was like, well... That was my time to go say hi, but I'm like, I'll, I'll give him another 10, 20 minutes. But I, I grew up in, in New Zealand where we only had three TV channels, but wrestling was one of the things yeah. that we got to watch. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I used to get grounded just to be able to watch him and stay up, you know, <laughs> laying in the car door while my mom's telling me I should be in bed. But I like it. I like it. Now, last year here at Comic-Con, there was somebody from Star Wars Episode One. Darth Maul himself Darth was Darth here. Gun. And this year, we got another one of the legendary <laughs> Star Wars characters, Boba Fett. The most legendary mask probably in all of film. I, I would, well, next to Darth Vader, of exactly. course. Exactly. You, you know what? Darth. You, it's not a bad thing if you're second to Darth Vader. Yeah. Um, actually, Ray Park, he, uh, he plays Darth Maul, for you guys who don't know. Yeah. But um, he's actually like a brother of mine, so we work out together. Really? Um, yeah, I'm more like a punching bag. <laughs> uh, he, would, he, he threatened to beat me up last year, so I wouldn't yeah, doubt it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to see him turn Maul, you know what yeah. I mean? You don't want to see him get his horns. That's when he gets crazy. But... Um, no, he's a wonderful guy, and, and that's what kind of uh, paved the way for me to come because he told me about how wonderful of an experience he had out here and um, some of the Mandalorian mercs that had actually given him a Mandalorian um, mall helmet. Mm. Uh, I'm a little jealous about because <laughs> nobody ever gives me lightsabers. Yeah, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, like, like you said, in the past they've had extraordinary names like Ray Park, and now they're only just starting to grow and get bigger and better. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is the time to come support. Yeah. You know, your local, uh, it's almost like a local small business family-owned company, you yeah. know what I mean? So um, that's why I love these things also, because yeah. they're run by people who have passion and love for sci-fi, fandom, geek, nerds, you know, you yeah. name it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, just like you're saying, I love these conventions because it is a lot of names maybe that you haven't heard of or comic books you haven't heard of, but the talent and the passion that these guys have, it's quite tremendous, you know? Right. And we can't all get down to San Diego or Salt Lake or, or wherever, you know? So when they come to us, like, you know, O Comic Con, come, you know, being in your own city, it's an awesome time, you know what I mean? Where you actually do get to feel uh, a bit of what a larger um, Comic Con is like, but on a smaller scale where it's more intimate. You actually get to talk to the guests. You know, you know you're closer within breathing space of mm -hmm. people that you admire or you idolize. So, uh, you know, um, that's another wonderful thing about them too, I think. Yeah, and people can come out and see you this weekend. Yep. They can get a picture, an autograph. You can meet Bubba Fett himself. Put my helmet on if you like. There you go. It's got fans inside. <laughs> Keep it cool in case it gets hot out here. Now, you were one of the most legendary characters. Do you feel like it was a legendary character, or were you just... What was going through your mind when they cast you as Boba Fett? Well, it was quite funny. When I got casted, I, like I said, I grew up in New Zealand with only three TV channels. I grew up in the episodes between six and one where there was 16 years of no Star Wars. Yeah. So I had never heard of Star Wars. Oh, interesting. When I auditioned, they said I auditioned out of 5,000 kids worldwide or somewhere around there. And... Uh, I think the thing that helped me get the role was that I was the only kid out of those 5,000 that said I had never heard of Star Wars. <laughs> so when they asked me to play Boba Fett, my first reaction was like, awesome, what kind of Jedi is he? <laughs> well, I found out that Boba Fett is a bounty hunter. Well, being in the, in the world for 15, 16 years now, I love this character. Yeah. I mean, I was just talking to some of the um, Mandalorian mercs about some of their weaponaries and stuff like that, and they're like, wow, you know all the, all the names of all the gadgets? I'm like... 
when you're Boba Fett, you have to be the biggest Boba Fett fan. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's you just, can't get out Boba Fett by a it, fan. Exactly. And I was for a long time, but you know, now I think I'm I'm Boba trivia. Mm -hmm. So Disney, they, they bought they bought Star Wars franchise. They're making movies every single year for the foreseeable future. There's word of a Boba Fett movie. There's chatter. I'm not sure if they started filming it yet, but uh, what do you think? Are you excited about the new Boba Fett movie? Oh. That says it all. That well, says it all. Now, all I can <laughs> say is that I'm excited for anything Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing that's become um, almost generational, if that's even a word. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you got to think about it. Your grandparents, your, your parents, now you, now your kids. I mean, everybody has a Star Wars that they can relate to. Yeah, that's true. Um, with this world of, of Boba, I mean, I think we all know that his bounties are far from over. So you never know when you'll see him pop up in the galaxy again. I like that. I like that. Daniel, thank you so much for hanging out with Darren, me, man. I like that answer. <laughs> Make sure you come out this weekend and check out Boba Fett himself, Daniel Logan, hanging out right here in this booth next to all these other great guests. Make sure you come out this weekend and see him. O Comic Con, Mid-America Center. We'll see you here, guys. Stay tuned because there's a lot more great stuff to come.